the black hole. They're one of the most fascinating subjects in our cosmos, even light, which travels 299,792 km per second, cannot escape its incomprehensible gravitational force after a certain stage. And imagine a space where matter is so tightly squeezed into a tiny space. One way that enables us to detect them is through the material that is funneled, created by the force of a black hole's gravity, which then the gas molecules swirl around so fast that they emit x-rays. Well, because we cannot see it, we can mainly pinpoint at a location. Another way of finding them is by observing the differently behaving stars, which may signal a black hole nearby. But here's the question. How big are black holes? Well, black holes can be as big as 20 times the size of our sun, which are called stellar, whereas it is thought that it can be as, as small as an atom but with a mass of a mountain. The largest black holes are called supermassive. These black holes have masses that are more than one million suns put together. Scientists have discovered a proof that every large galaxy contains a black hole in its center. For example, Sagittarius A is a supermassive black hole at the center of our Milky Galaxy. It has a mass equivalent of 4 million suns and would fit inside a very large ball that could hold a few million Earths. How do black holes form then? Primordial black holes are thought to have formed in the early universe soon after the Big Bang. Stellar black holes form when the center of a very massive star collapses in upon itself. This collapse also causes a supernova, or an exploding star, that blasts parts of the star into the space. Scientists think supermassive black holes form simultaneously as the galaxy they are in. Therefore, the size of a supermassive black hole is related to the size and mass of the galaxy it is in. The superb picture of the black hole. The picture you see here was taken in 2019 when astronomers captured the most detailed view of a black hole. But in fact, it is not a picture of the black hole, rather, its shadow. Because the light cannot escape, thus not reflecting any, we cannot actually capture the black hole in essence. Instead, the light you see here is the light that is circling the black hole's boundary. As beautiful and picturesque as it may seem, what we are witnessing here is the closest thing to our imagination of a black hole, swallowing everything in its path. Can a black hole destroy us? Well, no, because the closest black hole is so far away that it cannot destroy us. The sun is too small that once it dies off, it cannot form a black hole. And even if there were a black hole in the same spot as our sun, with the same mass, we will continue to rotate around it, as the gravity of it will be the same. What happens if one enters a black hole? Well, this part will be sci-fi related, because we know pretty much nothing if one enters a black hole. There are some movies like Interstellar, where they fictionalize the entrance of a person into a black hole. Oh yeah, spoilers. It's alright, alright, alright. <laughs> So, case mentioned above, it is very likely by our measures today that we cannot escape a black hole once past a certain stage. So the pool is so large at the event horizon, which is where the answer to our question begins. But the black holes differ by size. For example, with our sun-sized black hole, the radius of the event horizon will only be 2 miles, whereas with a stellar black hole, that number is 7.3 million miles. Due to the closeness of a black hole center, the implied differential force between head to toe will be 1,000 times. Therefore, if you were to fall into a black hole, your toe facing the side of the black hole, your force of pull in your toe would differ significantly from your head, stretching you like a spaghetti, which is why they coined the term spaghettification. In a black hole the size of our sun, you will not be stretched and will likely continue to freefall as the gravitational force is a lot less, and you are closer to the center of the black hole during the fall. In space, you can travel or move in any direction, but time is basically linear. 
meaning only moving forward. There's only one way of movement in a black hole. But then that begs the question, what happens to the time inside of a black hole? Well, maybe it lets you travel to another point in space, much like respawn in the game. Black holes are so dense that they could bend space, and maybe even time around them, causing you to travel great distances and travel to the past or to the future. If you want to learn more about this stuff, subscribe to our channel, or not. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> As always, you were listening to InfraRidge, I am Hassan, and see you next time. And remember, be good to yourselves. Out. Yeah.